I'm Anil Kumar. Let us take a word problem on linear systems now. The question here is, find two numbers such that twice the first exceeds three times the second by one and three times the first exceeds twice the second by 14, right? So that's the question for you. So first statement should be a let statement. So we say let the numbers be x and y, right? Now let's read the statement. Find the two numbers, so we have already assigned variables x and y, such that twice the first exceeds three times the second by one. So that means the first one is greater, right? So uh, twice the first exceeds, means is equal to, exceeds three times the second, so three times y, by 1, right? So twice the first is greater than 3 times y by 1. So from that statement, we get one equation. Now let's read the next statement. It says, and 3 times the first, that means 3 times the first exceeds twice the second by 14. So 3 times the first exceeds twice the second by 14, right? So that is how we get the second equation, right? So we have equation one here and equation two. So I'd like you to go through these statements and see how we translated these statements into equations. That is the most important part here. Now it is solving these two equations to find the result, right? So to solve these equations, we can adopt the method of elimination or substitution, right? So if I multiply the first one by 3 and the second one by 2, then what do we get? So what I will do at this stage is, I'll times this equation by 3 and this equation by 2. So then what do we get? Let me rewrite these equations. So times 3 gives us 6x, I mean, yeah, 6x equals to 9y plus 3 and times 2 gives us 6x equals to 4y plus 28. So we get two other equations. Let's call these equations as equation 3 and 4. Now from these equations, we can eliminate x terms. So we will do equation 3, take away equation 4 to eliminate x. So what do we get? Let me use another thing. So we get 0 equals to 9 minus 4 is 5, 5y, 3 minus 28 so that gives us minus 25 is it okay so we'll rearrange so 25 equals to 5y or 25 divided by 5 equals to y that gives us value of y as 5 times 5 is 25 so y is equals to 5 so once you find the value of y you can substitute this value in any of your equations let us call this as equation number 5 for us. So we'll sub equation 5, the value of y as 5, into, let us say equation 1, right? So into equation 1. To find the value of x, correct? So we have 2 times x equals to 3 times y is 5. Let me write 3 times 5 plus 1. So we have 2 times x equals to 15 plus 1. So we have 2 times x equals to 16 or x is equals to 16 divided by 2 which is 8 and therefore we have our answer which is x is equals to 8 and y is equals to 5 correct so once you get your answer you can verify whether the equations work for you or not so let that be an exercise for you i hope the method helps you to understand the basic concept concept here is Read the statements, write down the equations. Once you have two variables and two equations, you can solve by substitution or elimination. We preferred the method of elimination for this particular case, since for substitution, we are landing into fractions, right? And then you can, you know, solve the equation. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.